Our Haji Mujahid Asari Dokubo is typically just referred to as Asari. He is a major force and political figure in the Niger Delta and now also across Nigeria. He was president of the Ijo Youth Council and later founded the Niger Delta People's Volunteer Force, which evolved into one of the most prominent militant groups in the Niger Delta region of Nigeria. Asari was born into a very successful and educated middle-class Christian family. He later converted to Islam. He quit law school at the University of Calabar just before graduation and later also quit on his degree at the River State University of Science and Technology for reasons similar to those when he quit from Calabar. With Asari, the Ijo Youth Council, IYC, issued the Kayama Declaration expressing long-held Ijo concerns about the loss of control of their homeland and their own lives to the Nigerian state and oil companies operating in the region. The declaration and a letter addressed to oil companies called on them to suspend operations and withdraw from Ijo territory. The IYC pledged to struggle peacefully for freedom, self-determination, and ecological justice. We were pleased to have Asari in our Magoni studios to discuss his concerns and hopes for Nigeria. Please join me in my discussion with Alaji Mujahid Asari Dokubo. Okay, Alaji, thank you so very much for being in our Magoni studios. Thank you um, for the invite. Yes, uh, and as I, we, we want to go straight to the point here and uh, just ask the question to you that do Nigerians really know the real Alhaji Mujahid Asari Dakubo? I am not really bothered about uh, opinion formed about me, uh, my life, my activities. I am black and white, and anybody can open the pages and read them. But if people choose to form opinions, uh, then there's nothing I can do. I can punish them for having such opinion again about me. I was born Melford Dokubo Gooded Jr. to Honorable Justice Melford Gooded Sr. And I had a very uh, sound upbringing. Uh, I lived with my grandmother, and who, who at that time would say I travel, traveled widely. And I, because I lost my mom very early in my life, and then when my dad returned from Northeastern State as a state consul after its youth service uh, and joined the River State uh, Minister of Justice, I lived with my father. I attended Tanchi School. I went to Baptist High School. I went to university. The best high school in the world, I might say. I, were you, <laughs> I went to Baptist High School. Oh, yes. I never knew. So. I, I was at Baptist High School. From Baptist High School, I proceeded to University of Calabar. I became a student union activist. I was president of National Union of River State Student. Uh, I was also president. A lot of people will be shocked. I was also president of Baptist Student Fellowship. And so in 1988, 17th of September, I converted to Islam. I nineteen eighty-eight. Okay. Yes, seventeenth of September. Okay. I'll be twenty-six years this year mm. as a Muslim, and then I'm fifty now. I was fifty on the first of uh, June. So I I I didn't finish my law program. I left uh, my law program uh, in the first semester of my first year of my fourth year. Uh, my father was desirous. Was at the University of Calabar? Or yes, the, okay. at the University of Calabar. Mm -hmm. My dad was desirous of me becoming a lawyer at all costs as a first son. So I had to go to River State University of Science and Technology again to start. And, and when I couldn't make it, I just gave up. What do you see, what do you offer to Nigeria today? What, what do you, where do you stand looking at this entity we call Nigeria and the progress of it? Every colonial uh, contraption 
uh, as I call Nigeria, mm. has so many imperfections. You call Nigeria a contraption? Yes, okay. because people from diverse background, religions, cultural, language, uh, geographical, uh, were brought together. And it is difficult for these people to fuse. Because if you go to Europe, you have the Germans, exclusively a German entity. Germany, you have Austria, you have Germans there, you have Hungary, you have German-speaking people. Yeah. You, you, you look at how difficult it is to produce a prime minister some years ago in Belgium. It was very difficult because you, 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 you have to bring together all the conflicting opinions and trends in a country. And it would have been easier if we had all been apart. Okay. And we can unite to form like what we have United Arab Emirates. Different Emirates coming together, choosing, say we want to use, we want to cooperate, collaborate in military, economy, in custom, etc. We would have done that. Then there wouldn't have been any problem of Boko Haram. There wouldn't have been. Is that what you were looking at when you were president of the uh, Ijo Youth Council? It is said that you called for self determination, but within a Nigerian context. Is no, it no, similar no, no, or that's no, not no, true? No, 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 no. You see, there were different currents yes. in the Ijo struggle. And the preponderance opinion was the people who feel that they want to remain within Nigeria and self-determination within Nigeria. I don't know what that means. Kwame Nkrumah said, seek ye first the political kingdom okay. and all other things will be added unto you. Our people were feeling CC. They were, they want to uh, please other people. They want to be diplomatic. They want to be accommodative. And now, people, when I was in IYC, the motto was self-determination and resource control okay. by any means yes. necessary. Necessary, that's yes. it. By yes, any by necessary. any means necessary. Yes. I started that. Today, the IYC had changed. They are no longer using that slogan. They say it, it is too uh, competitive, and so they are not going to use. I believe, my belief is very clear, that one gun shot is more valuable, is worthier than a thousand years of sermonization, of negotiation and dialogue. Because when the enemy comes... Like what uh, one of the scriptures said, when the enemy shall come like a flood against you, a barrier, a standard will be lifted up against him. There must be, for every action, it's natural. There must be equal and opposite reaction. But, but wouldn't that yeah. happen to the one gunshot leading to yes. several other gunshots? No, no, no. Yes, but the enemy know that you have the capacity you have the capacity to react. You have the capacity to defend yourself. Because like uh, Malcolm X said, if you don't bend your back, brother, nobody is going to ride on your back. Before somebody will ride on your back, you have to bend. So if you don't bend, nobody is going to ride on your back. Having said that, if somebody sits in Abuja and signed pieces of paper, and say, go to Bite and to take oil, oil, one, two, three. It's their own. It's in Abuja. He does not even know where Bite is. And he signs again to another person. Go to Soku. Take Soku field, one, two, three. On the pieces of paper, the man had not been to Soku. The man signing had not been to Soku. What gives him the right to do so? Because he feels that, I don't care. They can't do anything. If they do anything, we will treat them the other way. If they do anything, we we'll treat them the gone way. If they do anything, we we'll treat them the Baramatu way. We we'll treat them the Odiyama way. We we'll treat them the Choba way. So when you have that sort of person who feels that is omnipotent, 
It's all powerful, and it can do anything. So the, the, for people who don't know, these are ways of suppressing the people. Yes. Okay. So, so when you suppress people, mm. so for Nigeria, uh, how I look at Nigeria is that for Nigeria to move forward, we have to convocate a sovereign national conference. Number one. Is that what we just did? No, no, no. We, we did a conference. Okay. We sat down. It's commendable that we sat down and we talked. So we, we have to do, we have to convocate a sovereign national conference where the nations that were forcefully, the British know, they signed treaties with these nations that were forcefully dispossessed of their independence to sit down and talk. And it should have sovereign power and the decision arising thereof should be subjected to a plebiscite. Now, having said that, if we don't want that, let us go to pre-1963. Before we became a republic. Yes. Pre-1963, we have four constitutions. The constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the constitution of the Eastern region, the constitution of the Western region, and the constitution of the uh, Northern region. Let us start from there. Because we make a lie when you open the constitution. The preamble to the constitution says, we, the people of Nigeria, having decided make law. It's a lie. It's a fraud. No Nigerian sat down make law. This 1999 constitution, which we're operating, was, was signed into law by one Abdul Salam Abubakar with some few people who, 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 who concocted it. We genuinely want to live together. We genuinely want to know the opinion of the people. Let us go back to pre-1963. If we go to pre-1963, we have four constitutions. Then the Eastern region can go. The Igbos, the Ogonis, the Bibios, the Anangs, the Ethics, the Ijaws, the Bekwaras. 500 groups coming. No, 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 no. We are talking about now regions. Okay. But then can we, do, can we possibly go back? Can we rewind back to that time? What about all but, the states but we have that, not about made. This, we have not. The states that we, we have? We, 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 these states were not created by the people. These are battle stands. In South Africa, it happened. It is not happening here for the first time. It's because we refuse to accept to do the right thing. In South Africa, the operators of apartheid decided to create battle stands, and they did. And when the power of the people came. Where did the battle stand go to? They vanished because they were not real. They were artificial. They were foisted on the people. So who will rewind this thing? Does the president, it is the will of the people. It is yes. dissolve the no, states? This is more peaceful approach. Okay. It is the will of the people that look. We don't want to continue. Today we hear that Goza is occupied, Dambua is occupied, people are killing people, people are saying uh, bamboos, monkeys, chickens will be soaked in blood on the street in 2015, etc., etc., etc. We look, we don't want this again. You don't want to die. I don't want to die. I'm 50 years old. I have 20 children. I don't want to die. I want to look at my children, see my children, see them grow. I, I want to love them. I want to carry them. I want to kiss them. I want to play with them. So I, I want peace. You are 70-something years. You have been former head of state. You have been this. You have gotten, ooh, ooh, you ooh, have acquired. Ooh, 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 or, no, no, no. There are several head of state who are 70-something. <laughs> okay. so, they have acquired a lot of wealth. They are enjoying it. Yeah. I have all that will forgive it. Yeah. We Now, let us go back genuinely. Let us make genuine peace. All right. Let me ask a question. Does controversy look for you or do you look for controversy? <laughs>